You know, there's this there's this passage passage in scripture where um, Jesus Christ turns to his disciples. Right. And he asks them a simple question. It's a very simple question. He says, who do some say that I am? You know, and they all begin to kick this thing around. You know, uh, some say, you know, you're this, some say you're that, you know, some some call you this, some call you that, you know. And, and Christ is just listening to them give him a report, uh, you know, and, and what they thought was a report on his reputation. And it really wasn't, you know, it was it was really a validation of his squad. You know, then he turns to him and he says, you know, after listening to what some say. He turns, he turns to them and he says, well, who do you say that I am? You know. And to me, that's one of the most powerful passages of, of, of scripture ever. Right? Because those that are closest to you, you know, it, people will say all kinds of things about you. But what does your circle say about the individual you are? What does your, your circle say about you? If we want to just judge you based on your circle, what can we learn? All of our grandmothers told us the same thing. All of our grandmothers said the same thing to you. Huh? My grandmother wasn't the only one who said that. I'll learn a lot about you based on the people you're hanging around. You know? Who does some say that you are? And when I read this particular headline right here, this tells me everything I need to know. Not only about the people that Donald Trump is hanging with, about the individual Donald Trump himself. Look at this headline, guys. This is, and, I, and, and I'm not, and here's what I'm not going to do. I'm not going to insult the intellect of the people that listen to me, you know, by elaborating on what this is. I'm not going to do that to you because I know the intellect of the people that follow me. I'm not an individual that attracts dumbass people. So I'm not going to go deeply into what this is. I'm not going to do that to you. You know, and yes, I do get some of these white Christians that stick their head in and ease eavesdrop on what I'm talking about. Right. And they do suffer from group group think they do have the inability to think for themselves. But to the African-American critical thinkers out there, we don't I don't have to I don't have to to, to go into a whole lecture on what this is and why this is why is this so damaging. Right. Or why, why this is so profound. I don't have to do that. You already know. So I'm not going to insult your intelligence. But what I will say is this. Is the way you feel about Donald Trump has been confirmed. Okay. All of this, all of this shit that you feel, all of this concern, this, this threat level that you raised up to a category 12. All of that shit you feel in your chest about Trump, I come here today to co-sign it. I'm, I'm signing under your name and saying it's valid. He is that. He is. He is what they say. Everything they have said about him. All of that shit is true. This ain't fake news. This is all the news. This is CBS. This is BBC. This is every news outlet around the world. We're not talking about 1934 when Joseph Goebbels, the, 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 the general of propaganda for the Nazis, when he was trying to unify the right, the right around the cause of the war and submerging the, the, the German citizens in a barrage of propaganda. That they must support the fear. This is not 1934. This is 2024. And the a presidential candidate, the Republican nominee, the one that all of the white Christian pastors from San Diego to Maine have endorsed on his website said there must be 
a unified right. We didn't. I've always called him a Nazi. I I called him right before, right before they suspended my channel. I said Donald Trump and his supporters are Nazis. Why? Because they emulate nice Nazis. If they if they're not in fact Nazis, they're acting like like Nazis. They they reek of Nazis. They have the stench of Nazis. And then they came here, right, and called themselves what I called them. You see how you, if you just stand on a point, if you don't let anybody push you off your position, if you stand there like a grown man on your left and your right shoe, right, and you hold down that for what you believe, you see how the truth will rise up and justify you? Without you having to say a word. I called him a Nazi. Then he called himself a Nazi. I said that white Christians have evolved into Nazis. And then they turned around. And called themselves Nazis. This shit wasn't no accident. This was their heart. This is who they are. This ain't fake news. This is all news. They can't even slither out of this shit. Then they try to blame it on the staff for no, we're not gonna let you do that. You're not you're not gonna lie to us like that. Be the, be the shit that you are behind closed doors. And it's 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 enough of this faking and shit as if there's a good party and there's a bad party. We we we, we as African Americans, we're always we're also we're already faced with this horrible choice in between a Nazi. And a fucking throwback in Joe Biden. A horrible, horrible throwback of white people in Joe Biden. The kind that smile in your face and feel some other shit behind. Close. It's enough that we're dealing with all of these fake ass white representatives. That's why I tell people I'm sick of voting for fucking white men. I'll vote for a fucking giraffe. I'm just, I don't want to vote for another white man in my life. But I'm forced to vote for this motherfucker because if I don't vote, for the piece of shit that is Joe Biden, there's this racist piece of shit named Donald Trump, who is far worse. See, you 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 have two white individuals, but one of these motherfuckers is evil. It's the purest form of evil. One of them, I just think, is is fucking stupid and gullible. But the other one, this bitch is evil. And Donald Trump represents the worst of that evil and his supporters do not let them off the hook on this shit don't let them do it okay if they can hold that boy justin some if they can fuck with him every day over some shit from eight years ago don't let hey don't let white people off the hook on this shit you are the company you keep you are the people you hang with. Who do some say that you are? We call all you motherfuckers Nazis.